And welcome to Let's Fly VFR today. We're out doing some F-15 action. We're going to try and kill a couple of Su uh, MiG-23s and a TU something or other backfire. Subscribe, like, and come visit letsflyvfr.com. So here we are in one of the Flaming Cliffs aircraft. If you're uh, new to DCS, then this I highly recommend is the place to start. These are simple in that you don't need to know all the controls, don't have to click buttons, you can do it all with mouse, sorry not mouse, you can do it with your keyboard and joystick and get everything ready. So here we are, I've got the radar set up, I'm trying to pick the first of the two fighters first and behind that will come the, the bomber, so they're all locked up, Put the shoot cues and there goes one Fox 3. And away she goes. Now the next deal is to unlock that one because the ammo rooms don't require you to remain locked like the sparrows. Get the second aircraft, launch one aircraft, launch one of that aircraft. Now what we're doing here, if you're unaware, is because they're so high and they're shooting at us, we get some chaff and flare out and then we head down into the denser air and keep the targets or those fighters right on the gimbal lock right on the side of the radar screen without losing them preferably so we can go back and chase them so there's our amram coming back around again they've descended down with us we've got one dead mig-23 and keep going here. This is just one of the training missions, guys, that you get. Oh, this is over Normandy. Be another one there. Lock him up. Take him out. I think he might have already hit the deck. Now, if you, again, if you're new, you've got all these things to uh, keep you keep your situation awareness. And the radar warning receiver, that circle one on the right. Remember, this, you're in the centre. If it's on the top, it's in front. If it's at the bottom, it's behind you, and obviously the left and right. Now you can use that when you have uh, an aircraft lock you. You can actually fly it, put it on your left or right wing, or your three nine line as they call it, and the Doppler radar from the other aircraft has a great deal of difficulty locking you up at that point. It's one of the many tactics that you can use, along with the one that I just used initially, and that's the diving down into the, into the thicker air. It just means the missile Shoot. doesn't have the range Shoot. to chase you. And if you turn and run away, which is perfectly a perfectly good way to get away from the missile, and you'll find that you can get away. But what I've done there is I didn't recognize the square in my heart. The square had an X in it, and that was my own guy. So IFF is something really important. Identification, friend or foe. Make sure when you're on the servers, that you are careful with that. Now you can see up there we've got the bomber up really high. We're going to come around. We've got plenty of speed. Now also be aware that if you wish to and you want to chase an Shoot. aircraft like this Shoot. with uh, sidewinders, you don't necessarily need the radar. If you want to sneak up on someone in the hills, you can turn your radar off. If you have a, a visual or you're, you're getting some warnings on your RWR of where they are, then you can track around behind them and then come up behind them and shoot them with a gun or if you want the sidewinder. So here's the bomber. I think generally known as a backfly. You can correct me if I've got that wrong. Swinging bomber. Yeah, one on the way and there we go. So one, two, you, to you, 22, M3. Dead as a dead thing. So that's pretty good. We've got uh, two fighters. Um, unfortunately, you shot down our own wingman, but that is a lesson learned. You will lose all your points in the game, guys, if you do that, and you'll get banned from uh, other webs, uh, other servers if you do that. Okay, so here we are coming in for a quick landing. Learned a hell of a lot from uh, from that mission. I've been shot down so quickly, so many times, until I started to get the hang of, especially the evasion side, which I would highly recommend that you get some practice with. So until next time, come visit us at Let's Fly VFR. Like, subscribe, share, get the story out there. We're growing quickly towards 2,000 
subscribers. So I'll catch you back here at Let's Fly VFR real soon. Bye-bye.